Hey, hey there, people, and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video with me, the Mad Rocket Scientist. Now, uh, today we are going to do episode three of uh, my Kerbal Space Program series, and today we are just going to send um, another rocket into orbit. This one will be a satellite orbit, you know, just to make a more realistic of sending a satellite into orbit. So we start, of course, with a Mark One cockpit. Uh, which I always put just default for me um, I'm putting an FLT 800 fuel tank uh, putting two of these uh, going to back to the first page we're going to put a LVT 30 engine um, which is the one that has the most thrust that fits under these FLT 800 fuel tanks so let's just zoom out a bit um, so I'm not sure if this will be enough to get me into orbit but hopefully it will because we will have a bit more load today than we usually do have uh, let's just put a decoupler on this real quick decoupler structural alright here's a stack decoupler alright let's put this back on um Yes, so on the top, we're going to have a... Uh, I misplaced that part. We're going to have this with a Sputnik Mark II on the top, which just looks like a Sputnik II satellite, which was um, one of the first sent into orbit. So that's kind of what we're going to be doing today. Um, of course, RV winglets, three of those would be good. Alright. I feel like I'm missing something. Don't know exactly what it is. Alright. Yeah, let's just make this more realistic with a bit of science stuff. Uh, these communitrons. I just put two of them. And I just attached this on the satellite right here. So. Um, just looks better when you're action orbit now let's just put that there uh, let's go to utility put a few lights on our spacecraft and maybe a parachute to come back to uh, let's actually put radial parachutes if we want to come back into the atmosphere but I doubt that so let's just put some parachutes here the crew capsule is still not hindered so um this seems okay and we will launch this uh, let's staging let's see if it's correct all right let's actually i'm pretty sure we're gonna run out of fuel so let me just um do something real quick let's just add a few extra fuel tanks to the sides let's just add some small ones Actually, how oh, this is 0 0.5 mass, 0 0.025. All right, let's put these. Maybe three extra. Yeah, three extra seems good, reasonable too. Um, no, wrong thing. Yeah. Um, FLT 400s should be enough for the ones on the side. Yeah, it should be way enough. All right, now always put your Feud cross fuel fuel cross feed lines, sorry. Um, and you, I had it the first time. All right, and then you just attach this to whichever fuel tank you want. I'm just gonna attach this to the bottom ones. Um, and of course, put your aerodynamic nose cone on. It always helps because this game actually does use aerodynamics. So, um, let's call this. Nick, uh, is that how he writes? But Nick, I don't know. Let's go. Just go. Yeah, no. Let's just let's just write it. Sputnik, and um, let's just move these uh, up one here. No, actually, I'm doing this all wrong. Okay, let's drag this down to here. Let's move these up to stage here. Alright, so this should be good. 
let's save it and I'll see you guys at the launch pad and we are back and now we are now ready to launch so let's without a second more to waste let's launch this thing slowly throttle up alright so oh, SAS module on so we've launched and now we are now heading slowly towards space So as you can see, maybe, um, as you can see, I turned the graphics up just a little bit um, from my previous videos, but it seems to be qu lagging quite a bit, so I might turn these back down because I'm not only getting two frames per second, sometimes three, um, so I might, yeah, put these graphics back down. So I was also thinking of starting other series on uh, my channel presumably um, some console gameplay um, I have to buy myself an Elgato gaming to record my console gameplay but uh, I will get around to doing that soon um, just post in the comments what games you want to see on the console and uh, if I have them I will play them and if not then I will go out on a limb to get them and play them for you guys so our fuel situation our fuel situation seems to be all right. Um, yeah, we're going up pretty slowly, actually. Well, 36 meters. It's just very laggy, so it seems to be going up very slowly. But I'm actually going up quite fast at 40 meters per second. Yes. Yeah, so I was saying I was thinking of doing some console gameplay. Um, maybe other computer games like um, The Sims if you want to see this uh, that maybe even Minecraft although Minecraft I wouldn't voluntarily do it but if you guys absolutely want to see Minecraft then I will post some Minecraft gameplay on my channel but for now I'm sticking to Kerbal Space Program because um, this is a game I love a lot it, I really like this game the physics the graphics although my computer is not the best to display these graphics and the graphics are actually quite good and the gameplay is never gets boring it's you can't do the same thing twice it's it's always different so now we are sort of higher not really but um going up slowly our app labs is not very high but um it's going up slowly but surely and once we get into orbit, we are going to deploy um, these little things right here, the Communotron 8888. You know, just make nicer on the Sputnik ball, or the Spayutnik. Yes, that's, I think that's what it's called, the Spayutnik. So let's see our fuel situation. Alright, this is draining actually quite fast. But we haven't lost any from this tank yet. Or from this tank. So that seems to be pretty good. Now we're only 2,000 meters in the air. So. And our fuel seems to be okay for now. So. Um, I will be back as soon as we are ready to be into orbit and we have added our maneuver. So, see you in a few minutes. Hey there people, we're back and um, we are now about to tilt to our 45 degree angle to start our orbit around planet Kerbin. Let's take off the SAS module. Slowly turning with the help of the fins. Um, now, this engine, the LVT-30, is the only engine that you can put under these, uh, this fuel tank that doesn't have thrust vectoring. But I choose it because it has 15 extra power, and this 15 extra power is very useful. So, this is my engine of choice.
and instead of having thrust vectoring well I put winglets which quite frankly does the same thing so now we're 18 meters into the air as you can see our apoaps is not necessarily going upwards but this part of the blue line here is coming outwards so this is good that means we are circulating our path now we can throttle down just a little bit because we don't need to go this fast we are just burning fuel right now because we have sort of exited the atmosphere and uh, we are just burning fuel just a little bit higher alright now we are still going faster without burning that much fuel let's see if this tank is getting empty oh this tank is almost empty but then we have the entirety of this tank right here so I think it would be time to add our maneuver now let's just pull this across pull 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 now let's go let's go so we have to do quite a bit of work to get there now let's just make this orbit bigger ah, like that seems reasonable now we have to go into blue maneuver node and it's in 14 seconds so let's not miss that opportunity let's start turning slowly turning Here we are sort of on the node, and I'll be back about halfway through our burn. Alright guys, a few slight problems. We ran out of fuel. So, and we are not fully into orbit yet, although with our momentum we may make it to orbit, or we may not make it to orbit. Now let me just try to aim this upwards a little bit to continue our momentum upwards now let's see how this is gonna go alright so um, I'm pretty sure we failed to get this into orbit this time but I know what my problem is and I will be back in the next episode with a fixed rocket and thank you for watching please like and favorite this video and I hope to see you in the next episode see you later guys bye